Franklin's wounds run deep. He was dropped off here at the shelter. No explanation. Rushed into surgery within 20 minutes. <laughs> Two-year-old Franklin just can't help himself. Good boy. That sweet spot he can't get enough of, the one that makes his legs go crazy. Oh, he definitely loves them. Veterinary technician Nikki Bennett says it's hard to believe this was Franklin just a few weeks ago. And he's coming a long way. All alone and deaf, dumped at the Animal Foundation with a bandaged leg, his flesh in decay. And his leg was really swollen and painful. Um, and it looked like the bandage had been there for quite a while, um, causing a lot of damage to the leg itself. Veterinarian Diana Freeman had to act fast, saving Franklin's leg. It's kind of dangerous to put on a bandage at home if you don't know what you're doing. And um, it kind of cut into the skin. It stopped the blood supply to the leg. Dr. Freeman doesn't know how or why Franklin was hurt. But four surgeries later, he's good as new. When we bring him home, he's just a couch potato. He, he'll play fetch for about like 15 minutes, and then he'll just lay on the couch and sleep pretty much all day. Now, kissing, cuddling, and looking for love. I think he breaks all the pit bull stereotypes. A dog already getting a little too friendly with the camera. His sights set on our microphone. <laughs> no, I don't even want to let go of my mic. He's a good boy. The Animal Foundation has a special fund just to treat pets that are injured or sick, just like Franklin. If you'd like to donate, you can go to our website, news3lv.com. Reporting at the Animal Foundation, Kelsey Thomas, 